Trick or treat to needing treatment. Allergies can make some parents feel like they're dressing up as the Grinch for Halloween. But there are some things you can do to ease those tricks when it comes to collecting candy. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live with one element of trick or treating you can keep on your mind this morning. Good morning, Alyssa and John. Halloween is a holiday that's supposed to be fun for children and me, which is why I'm wearing cow ears this morning. That being said, it can be really challenging for children that have allergies because some of the foods they aren't able to eat. I checked in with one family to see how they navigate Halloween with food allergies. For Emma Parody, a severe peanut and tree nut allergy will likely be a lifelong obstacle, something her mom, Lacey, helps with. I was trying to be inclusive and go to events with her and bring things that I know she can have or buy extra so that everyone can share what she can have. Emma has outgrown allergies to milk, eggs, soy, sunflower and sesame seeds and is in immunotherapy for nut allergies. But with nut filled candy nearly everywhere you look on Halloween, the duo says the holiday takes extra vigilance. I feel like for a while I had to wear gloves. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd have to give up half my bucket of candy because it, not even having to check the labels. The family has taken Halloween precautions for Emma's whole life, sometimes wearing gloves and swapping candy out with nut free options. With food being a huge part of everyday life, Emma is now comfortable with self advocating and knowing what she can and cannot eat. Ask them to check the labels all the time and stuff. Some allergen free Halloween items the parodies gravitate towards include toys like Play Doh food like Tootsie Pops and nut-free cookies. Another fan favorite, Vermont nut-free chocolate. Nicole Thompson is a kitchen lead and she too has an allergy. She says she's enjoyed watching nut-free options expand as there's a continued awareness for those with allergies. 25 years ago, they only had about five products. We now offer a variety of over 30 and three different flavors. So we've actually come a long ways. Every year we know more information um, and testing becomes, you know, testing has become more available. Timberland Allergy is the only practice focusing on allergies in the state. Nurse practitioner Peyton Wingfield notes food allergies are becoming more common and says nationwide one in 13 children are impacted. For Halloween, Wingfield says she recommends to her patients that loved ones screen candy before and notes it's always helpful for households to do something as simple as label a bowl if it does or does not contain allergens like peanuts. If you see a teal pumpkin on the outside of a house, it signal signals to families that they provide trinkets or toys, um, things that are safe for people that have food allergies. For families like the Parodies, any acknowledgement of the obstacle, hundreds of children in the state encounter is helpful. It's not something she can control. We have no control over this yeah. and we're just trying to do the best we can to give her a happy, healthy, full life mm -hmm. and teach her how to be the best little human being she can possibly yeah. be. And it's certainly a spooky day here in Vermont. Everyone is getting in the spirit right now. I'm in the Minuski Circle where there are 1000 carved pumpkins behind me that volunteers here in the area carved. Live in Winooski, Melissa Cooney, Channel for This Morning.